Well, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, my name is Bushra al-Ahmadi. Uh, I'm an MRI technologist in Maternity and Children's Hospital. And thank you so much, Dr. Abdullah and everyone here to be with me. Um, today, I want to talk about uh, MRI artifacts and the patient-related artifacts. This type of artifact come in many forms and many different reasons, such as if a patient is cholesterophobic, uh, or you don't give the patient clear instructions, uh, or involuntary movement. So we'll start uh, one by one. Okay. We'll start with the first. Okay. We'll start with the first. 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 We'll start with the when a patient is claustrophobic, or you don't give the patient clear instructions, or for involuntary movement. We'll start with this artifact, face mismapping artifact, or face encoded, or they call it also ghosting artifact. This artifact produces replications of moving anatomy across the image in the face encoding axis. What that mean? We'll see. Okay. First of all, here's the image. Axial image through breathing abdominal showing face mismapping. As we see here, the ghosting or uh, ghosting effect will make um, artifact. As we see here, face mismapping usually orients from anatomy that move vertically throughout the scan, such as anterior abdominal wall during respiratory, as we see before, uh, pulsation from vessels and CSF, walling and eye movement. All of these make ghosting artifact. Ghosting is less obvious with distance from the source of motion. Okay, here in this picture we see uh, the physical separation between each ghost depend on uh, scan time, parameters and period of motion. Okay. Let's see the cause of this artifact. Unlucky the frequency encoding and slice select gradient that are applied at the same amplitude every repetition time. But the face encoding gradient is applied at the different amplitude. As anatomy moves during the scan, its reason uh managed to the um requests the genie and of um filler. Uh, so we can cancel the request. I'm the presentation for money. I come. I'm Okay. Uh, Dr. Abdullah. So uh, I'll look at the meeting. Okay. As we said, frequency encoding and slice select gradients that are applied at the same amplitude every repetition time. But the phase encoding gradient is applied at the different amplitude. As anatomy moves during the scan, its, reconstruct its reconstructed signal uh, is misplaced in the phase encoding direction as the gradient amplitude changes. So, here the uh, example for face mismapping or ghosting artifact from patient moving his eyes. Here also on the left side, patient tilting his head and make this artifact is as a ghost. And on the right side from respiratory or patient breathing. So we see uh, the artifact and know where it's come from. Now we will check how we fix it or how we remedy this. There are several ways to reduce face mismapping. Also depends on how it, uh, this artifact come at the first place. Uh, if the repetition time, face matrix, and NSA increase, 
the separation between ghosts increased. There are the fewer ghosts in image. So the zidna di l'ashya kulliha hatibad al ghosts am baal fa hay gil ashakil da fi sura. So the same applies when image structures that uh, pulsate rapidly because that reduce a uh, period of motion. And there's other remedies. As I said, it's depend of how uh, the artifact come at the first place. Uh, maybe here, well, we may shorten the scan time when artifact is from patient movement. If the if the artifact come from patient mo movement, we may shorten the scan time and it will help uh, to reduce the time in the machine. Also, we have another option here, but it's not recommended for uh, because this uh, situation is uncomfortable for patient. Uh, we scan in brown position in a state of supine to reduce the abdominal excursion. And here for spine or uh, cervical, uh, we may uh, use saturation bands that place outside the field of view and it's reduced ghosting from vascular flow. Here also we can use cardiac and respiratory gating when it depends on chest or abdomen scans. Um, About respiratory compensation technique, in this picture we use a trigger or a gating to um, manage the uh, breathing. Okay, so uh, respiratory compensation technique uh, in chest and abdomen images, uh, respiratory motion along the face encoding axis, it's likely to obscure important structure. So there are several techniques that either reduce or eliminate the, this artifact. We may use in fast sequences. Um, maybe we can tell the patient to hold their breath during the scan. If it's fast sequence and with a short time, very, very short time. But in the longer sequences, uh, a method known as respiratory compensation, this reduce motion artifact from respiration. As we see here in this picture, here's the trigger, this in a black line, this trigger to uh, modify the breath and here the cardiac getting list. Here in this image, we'll explain what I told you before. On the left side, uh, the image, we took it without uh, respiratory gating or without the compensation technique. Here is the ghosting artifact all over the image. On the right side, we use uh, trigger and respiratory compensation technique, and we, she, it gives us a very good image in the end. So, other option we have, medication and anesthesia. Medications such as uh, Xenex can be ordered by physician, not by you, by the physician. For patients who are claustrophobic or in pain, to help them through their exam. Anesthesia is also uh, an option for pediatric patients or adults that still cannot handle MRI with oral medication. Here, it comes for us a very important remedy. It's the communication. Communication is the best tool that an MRI technician, technologist has. Telling a patient to hold still or hold their breath can help reduce motion. And also, as I said before, good explanation uh, of what they will expect during this exam. It's important and it will help you also to finish the exam in a perfect way. Okay, uh, sponges and restraints. Uh, using restraints should be at least short for uh, when performing any MRI exams. We don't use it that much, but sponges can be used to bed a patient head. So it's recommended or it's good for brain or cervical spine MRI to hold the patient in the same way. Okay, now we finish about face mismapping or ghosting artifact. Now we will move to another uh, artifact that not 100% from patient, but patient had a um, big part of it. 
It's called magnetic susceptibility artifact. What's the magnetic susceptibility artifact? This artifact reduces distortion of image together with the large signal voids. I will show you some pictures. As we see here, a brain MRI for woman, she dyes her hair, and the dye has a metallic ingredients that will make this artifact or magnetic susceptibility artifact. Also here on the right side, another image for brain, but this patient has an um, eyebrow tattoo. This tattoo has a metallic ingredients also and make magnetic susceptibility artifact. The cause of uh, magnetic susceptibility is uh, the ability of substance to become magnetized. Different tissues magnetize to different degrees, which results in a difference in patient frequency and phase of magnetic moments of nuclei within the tissue. This cause uh, divisiting at, uh, at the transferring or tissue with loss of signal. So the geometric accuracy of MRI image relies on a uh, homogeneous image, volume, and approximately linear gradient applications. Here is also uh, another picture for magnetic susceptibility artifact, but the patient has a uh, braces, tooth braces, so that will make uh, here, magnetic susceptibility artifact in a brain. Okay, let's come for remedy or how we fix this artifact. We can't, uh, sure, we can't uh, make a patient to remove it. So some some things that cannot remove, uh, but we can use Im imaging low magnetic field strength. Use a smaller voxel, decreasing echo time and increasing. Uh, bandwidth that will help us to reduce this artifact. Also, gradient echo and gradient planar sequences should be avoided because that's increased respectability artifact. Um, use spin echo and fast spin echo sequences should be considered and it help to finish the exam in as we can in a perfect way. So. Now I finished. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed with me.